today I'm with Randy Bear. <laughs> anyway, today we don't have anything planned. We're just gonna ride around a little bit and enjoy being on the bikes. You don't always need an agenda when you go out and ride. And I'm starting to learn that because the last five years, I've always had somewhere to go. Well, not today. Let's go this way. See, that's kind of nice. Just decide to go left. We're gonna go left. That guy's gonna go more left. And we're gonna go middle left. Dude's on his lunch break. Was he sleeping? He should be he should be spinning. Bikes. Tons of Harleys. Dude, what's the big thing with Harleys? See, these things are loud, expensive, and slow. Nothing but Harleys all the day, huh? Triple nickel. Triple nickel? It's a famous road in Ohio. It's a 555. Five, five. I get it. Every time we come to Cook's, which really isn't that often anymore, for every one sport bike, there's 15 Harleys. At least. What do you think a bike like that costs? Probably 30 grand. 30 grand. Have you ever ridden a Harley? Maybe a long time ago, I don't remember. Let's go to the Harley dealership. Let's go test ride one. Let's do it. I mean, we're looking for shit to do anyway, right? That could be fun. We're leaving, man. Right now, we're leaving. Right. Randy Bear 5000 decides where he's going. <laughs> That's true. Watch this. Out of my way, Prius. <laughs> like I said, we had nothing to do. We're just going to kind of see how the day goes. Well, now we have something to do. We're going to go to the Harley dealership. We're going to go see if we can demo some of these bikes. I did ride a Harley a few years back when Z and I were attending AIM Expo in Columbus. Oh wait, that was in Florida when we rode those Harleys. Anyway, that's how long ago it was. Long time. I'm going to ride a Sportster. It's a chick's bike anyway, right? And for the record, I have no affiliation with Harley Davidson or the dealership we're going to. Or wait, doesn't Harley have sport bikes now? Maybe that's what I'll ride. Maybe that's what I'll ride. Now I'm assuming we're going to go to the Harley dealership and be able to demo these things. I do apologize if we get there and they don't let us ride any of their bikes. We're going to try though. <laughs> RBK's got a mean streak in him, I think. Excuse me, sir. Damn! Look at this dude. Sometimes sitting at red lights can be a bonus. I've recently become a big fan of Sizzler. Anybody else? That salad bar they got is pretty good, man. I like their tacos and chicken noodle soup. <laughs> The Prius move. There's a brand new Harley. Must be getting close. I'm pretty sure the Harley dealership's on this road on this side. Is this it? Oh, dude. They got like food and shit happening too. <laughs> What's going on, fellas? How are you? Thank you. Doing great. Come on in. Come on in. You uh, care if I document this? Or... On a GoPro, I have no problem. With All right. It. I love vi uh, videos. Good. How about you? Thank you, man. Stumped out. I can't complain. Except you're at work. That's true. That sucks. Yeah. At least I'm working around Harley's. Want a pen? Dude, I like pens, man. I'm gonna take one. There she goes. <laughs> this feels weird. Wow, this feels weird as shit. <laughs> Felt like I was gonna fall over, man. How's it feel? It's alright, man. 
I don't feel like I look as cool as some of those other dudes that ride Harleys do. I don't know, you kind of have to have a certain style, a little swagger about you. I don't think I have that style. But then again, maybe nobody does right off the bat. You just kind of fall into it when you're on a Harley. White line race, let's go. Let's go, white line. All right, white line. I'm gonna win this shit. I am gonna win. Oh. <laughs> Randy wins! No anti-lock brakes. I thought these things had anti-lock brakes. Not that one. That's a 2015. Oh, it's a 2015? What's the difference between this one and the brand new one? ABS. That wasn't 10 miles. That was like a mile and a half. I got jipped. Well, I liked it, but I didn't have enough time to really like it. I thought we were doing like a 10 mile deal. That was like 30 seconds, man. Yeah, that's the route that I, I was taught. That's like two miles. That's alright, man. Thank you, sir. Of course, man. They promised us 10 miles. They give us like a mile and a half. Just as I was starting to get the hang of the bike, you know? Yeah. On oh, my way, Chris. Alright, man. Fun day, dude. Overall fun day. We did a lot today, but we didn't do a lot. But we did, right? Kind of felt like a lot. Anyway, good freestyle day, man. I like this style of video. Just kind of go with it. Whatever happens, happens. So, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I do upload a video. Be part of that notification squad. Huge shout out to all the patrons of the channel. You know who you are. Love each and every one of you. Dude, the support you guys give me feels good, man. I feel it deep in my stomach. I do have a website up at suburbandelinquent.com. I'm always adding new stuff there. So if you guys are into supporting the channel a little deeper, uh, go ahead and pick yourself up some stickers or some shirts. For those of you guys that are interested, if you're not aware, I do have a second YouTube channel. It's called Extra Delinquent. It's all dirt bikes over there. I've got very limited experience on a dirt bike, so it's just a, it's a big learning process over there. It's fun though, we do have a good time. Let's show a lot of love and support to the channel partners. Let's start off with Louis Moto, designer seats. Chaparral Moto for keeping these bikes on the road. You guys know I'm pretty tough on these things. Also, Voss helmets, keeping my head safe. Thank you, Voss. And also, Henry Haddad, the law office is up, man. Those guys are really great. Those guys are keeping this channel afloat. So if you guys are in need of any of those services, I do encourage you and hope that you support the companies that support this channel. I love each and every one of you, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Or something my grandma used to tell me. This could work for you too. Remember this, fellas. Strive to drive to arrive alive. Uh huh. Good grandma. Uh huh. Grandma. Grandma knows. She also knows how to get around the neighborhood only making right turns. Around the whole city only making right turns. Imagine that.